Good day, everyone, and thanks for joining us here in the charts. You are tuned in to the Market Beast edition. Yes, it is your fellow compadre speaking, of course. Guys, we're going to talk about Tesla today. It looks like the buyers and the sellers are in a really tight spot within this pattern that we've been following. If you guys are just joining us, uh, welcome in. Um, it's simple what we do. We find support, resistance, and patterns to determine the markets, uh, the direction of the market. So if that piques your interest, join us. Subscribe, hit the bell to be notified where we see the markets going. Engage in the comment section, leave an appropriate thumb. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. Guys, we really appreciate all of your support, including our loyal subscribers. Let's not waste time, guys. Let's talk about Tesla. Let's dive right into the charts here, shall we? All right, so today's December the 24th, 2020, and the current price of Tesla is going to be $661.30. It's up about 2.3% for the day, okay? All right, guys, so as we mentioned, um, if you guys are just joining us here, this is a really simple chart. I think it's simple. Uh, we've been following this for quite some time. Um, as you can see, the the uh, invert, it's kind of like a, a parabolic curve. Um, I think we've been finding some interesting uh, support at that level here. These are the weekly candles, if I haven't mentioned that. Looks like there's about two touch points on there. And notice the overhead resistance in the inception down here in November of 2019. Just kind of broke above or broke below that line, this resistance line. Another touch point there at about $191. Another touch point at about $483 in August 2020. So I think you see it there. Uh, the buyers have been been confined or, you know, being restricted from continuing the price to the upside by this overhead ascending red resistance line. OK, hopefully that's pretty clear to see. So right now, the buyers and the sellers are trying to figure out who is going to take control of this market and break out of this tight little range up in here. Remember, guys, never look at price action as random. This is very strategic. OK, there is buyers and there are sellers in the market. OK, remember that. OK, and I think the more you understand that, the more you have a better understanding of what's going on in the market. So it's really simple. I have two levels that I want to reveal to you guys that is going to determine whether or not the sellers are going to take control of the market here or if the buyers are going to clearly continue their trend to the upside because Tesla is come is perfectly confined within an uptrend. There's no denying that it's clear to see on the chart you can't make that up we're just all you need is three consecutive higher highs three consecutive higher lows to determine whether or not the market is in an uptrend okay so that's pretty clear to see tesla is in a beautiful uptrend okay ever since the beginning of beginning of time okay so uh these are the weekly candles i'm going to predict that within the next 10 to 15 it could even take less 10 to 15 market days we should have a pretty clear understanding of who has control of the market who has consolidated within this pattern because this is just consolidation before the breakout that's how i look at this stuff guys price action consolidates within a pattern before a move whether that's going to be to the upside or the downside and so far this price has been consolidating within this range for about 413 days consolidation is always good before the breakout again a breakout consists to the upside or the downside it simply means break out of the pattern which is right here in front of us guys this is the pattern okay so but one thing is that that i'm saying that i'm seeing here on the chart is the setup is not ideal okay that doesn't mean that the price is going to collapse but that does mean that I think the sellers have something up their sleeve and that they may actually attempt to make a move within the next 10 to 15 days. And let me explain why I say that. Uh, well, let me just explain the levels that it needs to compromise in order to follow through with this suspicious behavior that I'm saying that could be taking place in the market from the seller. So the level is going to be just under $600. Let's call it like $595. This is the level that the sellers must compromise in order to attempt to back test the previous level of resistance. Where's the previous level of resistance, one may ask? That's going to be at about $450 right here at this level that I just put on the screen, okay? Now, the only way for the sellers to fulfill that obligation, it would be to get below and stay below the six it's 595 dollars technically speaking if we see something like that happen then it's likely that the sellers are trying to follow through with a back test of the previous resistance the sellers do not 
have control of the Tesla market. This market is in an uptrend. That is the first potential bearish case scenario that could play out. So be mindful that something like that could play out. And again, you only have to write down one level, $595. If the price gets below there and stays below, then the sellers are going to try to fulfill their obligation. Okay, that's the first thing that could play out. Now, the second thing, really simple, if the buyers are going to continue their overall control in the market, which is very clear to see this uptrend, Tesla is perfectly confined in an uptrend. There's just one level. The buyers need to get above and stay above the $700 level right there at the, let's make that a green line, right there at that line that we just put on the chart. Okay. If the buyers are going to continue the momentum to the upside and they're going to prove to the sellers that they have been consolidating within this pattern here for just over 400 days and follow through with the momentum with a break out to the upside, then it's likely you'll see the price above $700 if you want to write that down. Uh, within the next, I'm going to call it, I, it's getting really tight in here, guys, in this pattern, assuming that I have my lines correct and assuming that it is in the pattern. I think it's a pretty clean setup, but um, I don't think it's going to take longer than 10 to 15 market days, okay? And what does that translate to? Let's just call it about uh, somewhere in the mid-January 2021. So either direction, if the price is below $595, the sellers are trying to follow through. If the price is above $700 and it stays above $700, really simple, guys. The price is trying to fulfill that fractal that we followed. Hopefully, we left a, a video for that video. We have, I can't talk. Hopefully, we left a link for the video so that you can check that out at your own leisure. If it's above $700 and it stays above $700, it's likely the price is trying to test or breach the $979 level is the conservative target that we've identified to take most, if not all of the profits out of the market, just under that psychological level at $1,000. That's what we're going to be paying attention to for the bullish case. And that pretty much takes care of everything, guys. Just two levels, 700 bucks for the buyers, $595 for the sellers. And it's really simple, guys. That's all we're looking for. Thanks for your time, guys. Hopefully you appreciate that. Leave an appropriate thumb just below the video there if you enjoyed the content. And guys, we're not going to get this perfect. If you see the price in like two months from now and say, dude, you got it wrong, that's fine. Leave the comments down in the comment section. No such thing as a negative comment. All of you are welcome here, guys. Engage with us. And also, also before you go there, guys, we also go over the alternative markets. If you guys are into Bitcoin, altcoins, things of that nature, we go over that seven days a week. You don't want to miss that. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Turn on, on your notification bell before you leave there. And that's it, guys. It's Napoleon Macro. We're going to go ahead and get out, wrap up here. Uh, take care of yourselves. Protect your portfolios. We're going to talk very soon. And bye for now.